Welcome to Washita Mountain Living Podcast. My name is Mike, and it's just it's Saturday, or is it Saturday? Why do I even bother with the days? I don't never know what day it is. It's Sunday. I should know these things, but I don't. I don't care. Oh man. Well, I just seen that our governor has declared a state of emergency over this eclipse thing. I thought we had a much smarter governor than that. I don't see it, folks. I don't see all the chaos happening people are talking about. Right now, it's raining and it's cloudy, but they're saying tomorrow, periods of sun. That on it, you know, that in itself, if I was somebody that was wanting to travel, would say, no, we're not going. It's too big of a chance to not see it. I ain't going to talk about the eclipse. That, that, that whole subject's just a bunch of government-promoted bumbo-jumbo to stimulate the economy, and if it does, good. But it, uh, you know, it's like everything else. It's about money. Money, 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 money. Yeah, money makes the world go around. And money makes the world go nuts. Speaking of money, let's, uh, let's, let's have a little fun here today. I seen the the Powerball was up to one point three billion dollars. Way, way, way too much money for one person to win. Now, yes, you don't get that much. It's a lump sum of six point eight million dollars. Of that, government will get exactly probably half. You know, so you're still going to walk away with a cool three hundred mil. And I asked the machine, you know, that ends with an A, starts with an A, am I in a state where I can remain, remain blah, 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 where I can remain synonymous? Yeah, syn uh, yeah, anonymous. You know, where nobody knows. Because I tell you what, in the middle of hillbilly country, you don't want people knowing you won $300 million. Uh-uh. They would be lined up for three miles to knock on your door. Hey man, you think I can get $40 and go get a new battery for my lawnmower? I really need it, I'll pay you back, man. I, I, you, it'd be things like that. But uh, I don't play the lottery, so I got probably about that much chance of winning it, but I may just go buy a ticket. I may go buy a ticket tomorrow. I'm going to do it during the clips. Maybe that'll be the, the magic, you know, pill right there. Of course, I'll be here filming the eclipse. I don't know. I'm buying into it. But I'm going to film it because that's a neat photography. i got to charge up my Nikon because I need some stills. But I've got a screen that's going to go in front of my lenses. I'm going to put both cameras. I'm also going to film the behaviors of the animals because they'll surely be out there with me. I uh, remember the last one. They didn't could care less. They could care less. So supposedly animals are going nuts and all this. Ah. So let's get back to winning the lottery. What would I do? Would I move? Would I buy a big mansion in Beverly Hills? What would I do? Well, I damn sure wouldn't move to California. And I damn sure wouldn't buy a mansion. To me, that would be... I, I would be out of my element. I would feel very... <laughs> awkward in a huge house it's a waste of money uh, i'd probably spend most of it helping uh rescue animals setting up uh you know foundations and things like that and and i've learned in life man no matter how much you help it doesn't alleviate the problem but hey if you can save a whole bunch of dogs and get there the homes are out there for them in states that have laws that don't have, I mean, you go up to Minnesota, that's why we, we would send them up to Minnesota, because you, you go to the shelter there, there is no dogs, because they have spay and neuter laws. So it would, I would do something like that. Here I am going off on another tangent. But if I had that kind of money, I'd probably build a big old fence around this place. Yeah, put up a new fence, I might even paint it. No, I would definitely... Get rid of this. I would give this place to somebody. I, I'm not one for selling things uh, if I don't need the money. So I would probably give this away. 
Uh, I wouldn't bother giving it away to my family because they would also be wealthy because I'd split it with them. Uh, I don't know, man. What would you do if you suddenly had that kind of money? First of all, I know that that kind of money only brings problems. Uh, uh, it would just, I don't know if it would change me, but it would, you, you know, I'm going to go out and have a spending spree. Now uh, that's going to happen. I ain't going to buy no fancy Ferraris. I'll get a nice pickup, a couple of them. Yeah. They're going to have dog seats in them and you know, they'll have their section. I might buy a train with dog train cars to go around the property. I would definitely give this place away. And find something more remote. More remote. Where I ain't got to see a human being if I don't need to. I don't know. I don't like cold weather. Because the most beautiful places, to be honest, are in like Montana and Idaho. But I couldn't deal with that weather, guys. I, I just could not deal with the cold and the snow. Even if I had people to pay money to pay people to keep it clear. I can't deal with that kind of weather. Maybe I'd have a summer place up there. Don't know. But all the good weather places are full of people. Wall-to-wall -wall people. You got southern Florida. You got the San Diego region. That's got like perfect weather. Full of people. But I'm sure there are places on earth that you can move to where the weather's good year-round. Where there's not a lot of people. There's just not that many. Uh, and I wouldn't want to live around them politics uh, out in California and any of that. I, I, I want somewhere remote. Of course, I'm never going to win the lottery because, you know, you got to play it to win it. But you never know. I might decide to play it. Who knows, man? I don't think my life would change that much. I really don't. I'd probably end up giving most of it away. Uh, that's just what I do. But I'd have a little fun, have some, you know, nice places to go sit out in nature. I'd, I'd like to have my own lake. Yeah. But I would never buy a big mansion or anything. A huge log cabin, that would be awesome. Yeah. Four or five rooms, couple of bathrooms. Yeah. That's about what I'd do. I don't, I don't know. But it's always good to dream. I used to play the lottery. I've, I've never been a regular lottery player. Um, and when I did, though, I hate that feeling where you got the ticket and you think, oh, you might win, and then you didn't get one number. Nothing. I don't think I've ever won more than $5 off of any of them. Uh, the scratch-offs, they're a total waste of money. I don't know. Any kind of gambling, I just I shy away from. I used to gamble. I used to be bad at gambling. But that's been many, many, many years ago. And I know that if you just, you know, the chances of winning big are very slim to none. Eight minutes into this thing, uh, we're dreaming. That's all we're doing here. We're dreaming. And I've, I've heard a lot of, I forget, there was a radio commercial. What would you do if you won this amount of money? And they're asking people, oh, I'd buy a huge mansion here and there. They're only thinking of themselves. There's so many people that win it that don't deserve to win it. And the majority of those people that win it, it ruins their life. And they're broke in five years. I mean, you can't take a person that's lived a certain lifestyle all their life and then suddenly give them a bunch of money and expect them to change. Look at NFL players and sports figures. You know, they come from a poor background, uh, living in crime, and yet they still get in trouble with millions of dollars in their bank account because that's all they know. That's all they know. You're never going to change them. doesn't matter how much money you give them. But that would be true with me. Um, I wouldn't dress any different. T-shirts and just cheap jeans. That's what, I, that's what I've always worn. I'm not one for those. And believe me, men's fashions today, from what I see on TV, these guys in California and Florida wearing these... Let me look at the business suits. They look like little fairies in them things. The little skinny jean suit pants. And they're high waters. And they don't wear socks. They look stupid. The newscasters and all that that wear them. You wouldn't catch me dead wearing one of them suits. Ever. And the man bags. I ain't wearing one of them. 
ever. Nope. Call me old fashioned. <laughs> yeah. I wear my own. I would never change what I wear. And I don't wear nothing fancy. Never will. In fact, last week I had a tie and some dress pants and stuff. I, I don't know why I've been hanging on to them. And uh, I toss them in the trash because I will never ever put a tie or a fancy shirt or a suit on again. Yes, I've worn them, but ain't never going to happen. You're like, what if you got to go to a funeral? Well, ain't none of us having funerals. Uh, at least I'm not. I don't want one. I know my father doesn't want one. My mother wants one. Well, she can have one. But I ain't dressing up, Mom. I'm not. I'm going to wear what I wear. And that's the way I, if I had a funeral, I'd want people to come just the way they was. Not dressed in some stuffy old uncomfortable suit or silly looking dress with flowers and all that on it. Wear what you want. I don't care if you want to wear a thong, wear a thong. Don't matter to me. But I would never let money change me. I know it wouldn't. Boy, it'd be nice to have it just for a little bit. I'd give a bunch of it away. But I wouldn't give it away to people. Only people I knew that would really appreciate it. But most of it would probably go to animals. That's right. Because they're only here for a short time. They deserve fun and nice things. And you know Miss Rooster would be digging into that bank account. Oh, yeah. That, that girl. I woke up this morning. Her short is on. It's viral right now. Last I looked, it's about 7,000 and climbing. She's got a big old head right now. I don't know what to do with that girl. But the people like Rooster. All right, guys. Well, put down in the comments what you'd do with your money. Don't lie to me. Would you go buy a Ferrari in a big mansion? Hey. If you, you know, nothing wrong with buying stuff like that for an investment. I'd buy some, in, I don't know. If I was younger, I'd probably buy a bunch of investments. But I'm not interested in that anymore. Because I'd have enough to live for the rest of my life. Uh, and I'm too old to do the party scene and all that. I don't think I'd get into that. I, that's all in the past. So I don't know. But tell me what you would do if you had 300 million bucks in your pocket. I'd like to know. Thanks for watching. We will see you tomorrow. Be watching on... I, I will try to get a put a video on this channel as well of the eclipse i'm going to get a lot of footage i'm going to have both cameras going on it plus i'll be taking still pictures with my nikon uh, so i'll put a video on both channels tomorrow and for those that can't travel to go see it i'm going to try to make it a good one i don't know i've never done it with the filter so i don't know how it's going to come out but i will try thanks for watching happy trails